Hello. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Reselling Polly. I am a reseller on eBay in the uh, northwest of the UK. Sorry for the reflection on my glasses. I'll sit back a bit. It might be, it might be a bit better then. Um, I've been out today and uh, got a haul. So I just thought um, my partner is away. So I'm all alone. My son's gone to his girlfriend's for the evening. And uh, yeah, I just thought that I would. Uh, I went out not with the intention of going sourcing. And I got one <coughs> and two. Two bags from the same charity shop. Uh, when I went, when I went in, um, they had a sign on the window. It's only a one ninety nine charity shop. Um, sorry, I'll just put the live chat on, then I can see everybody. Um, I'll say some hellos in a minute. Yeah, uh, I went in, and she said it's only a one ninety nine charity shop, and she said, um, "Oh, all the clothes are a pound today." And it was like, "Ooh," I said, "You do realise I'm going to buy quite a bit then?" So. Um, some of it might not be any good, but uh, for a pound, it doesn't, you know, do you take a chance on it and just see what's what? So, right, hello. So, hello to Karen. Uh, hello, hi, Sam, I did a car boot sale. But it went really okay, really. Um, I only made about £70, uh, but it wasn't so bad for stuff that I was just getting rid of and was just going to take to the charity shop anyway. I was doing some vlogging, supposed to be, on Instagram. I did a bit of a thing in the morning, then ju just totally forgot all about it. Totally forgot to vlog. Um, sorry, I keep adjusting the screen. I'm just trying to get the uh, the reflection off uh, my glasses. Yeah, so all in all, it was all right. It was all there an hour and a half. It started at, started at 10, and by half 11, everybody had come and gone, and I was packing up, and I was away for 12 o'clock. So, uh, yeah. Not bad for an hour and a half. Um, oh, <laughs> hi, Alex. There's no pepperberry, I'm afraid, in this hall. Hi, Sue. Uh, South London reseller, hiya. Um, Money Mental, good evening. That's a new name on me, uh, but you're more than welcome. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, I just grabbed loads of stuff, so I sort of like, there's a few good pieces in here and a few okay pieces that I, I picked up, so yeah, I'll just go through. So everything apart from the, the shoes was pound. So first up we have, this is a shirt by Warehouse. it's a size 10. It's slight, I think it's oversized, striped shirt, long sleeves. Just kind of, kind of like that. And for a pound, Wearhouse always sells well for me. Uh, I've got hundreds and hundreds of blouses and shirts, but, you know, you always need another one. So, uh, yeah. So, nothing special in that. So, but for a pound. Yes, I did say pepperberry. I don't know what it is with you with pepperberry. I've not got a clue. But, uh, anyway. This was a really, really good find, although I don't really like the uh, the cardigan itself. Um, the brand is quite a good one. It is, um, just show it with you. This is a Peruvian Connection, and it's an expensive brand, and this is, it's called it's Pima Cotton, which I think is like a, like a, a more expensive cotton, so. Uh, yeah, but if you see this brand, uh, keep your eye out for it. It goes for quite good money. Um, I'm not quite sure on this. I'll have to do some research, but I would imagine at least £30 for that. Maybe it was a 40 so for £1, that's amazing. Hi, Peter. What have we got next? Don't even, do you know, I got that much stuff, I don't even know what I got. Oh, this is a dress, um, and it is by, um, oh, come on, uh, it's Cos, just a black sort of, it's got like this weird sort of shape at the bottom, like a, I don't know what you'd call that, well, like you probably can't see it on there very well, God, the lighting's crap, isn't it? Um, but yeah, pound again, so it's got to be 20 quid in that. Hi Lucy. 
Welcome. Another Wuros blows again a size 10. Um, this is oh god, that light is terrible. I'm really, really sorry. Let me just go around here and see whether it's any better. Um actually I think it's a dress, this. Yeah, it's quite long. Long sleeved, blue, like a cobalt blue by Wuros again, pound. So there's gonna be 20 quid in that. I'm just gonna put you back because it's just no better. The lighting here is just terrible anyway. I was gonna wait till tomorrow and do it and I thought, oh no, I'll do it now. Um, this brand I don't pick up very often because it hangs around for ages, but it is a good expensive brand and for a pound, it's Planet. It's just a, a plain black sort of stretchy jersey dress, sorry. Oh, it's absolutely terrible. You can't see. It's like quite um, like ruched in places. You know, in all the right places that us ladies with lots of bumps like. Um, so yeah, pound. Your favourite brand, Cos. Do you know what? Everybody raves about Cos, and I, I, I've never actually bought it myself, so I don't know. I, I'm presuming it's quite an expensive brand, but do you know what? It doesn't sell for me. It doesn't sell very quickly or very for a lot of money for me, and I don't know why that is because a lot of people um, rave about it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, again, Wuros, it's a dress, it's a size UK 12, and it's got this lovely little, it's sort of like metallic, I don't know if it's coming over on the, and it's sort of like, it's metallic on the top, it's like a leopardy print underneath, uh, short sleeved, I thought that was really quite cute, again, got to be £20 or up. What size blue were rose dress, Sam? Um, that one, Karen. That one is a 10. Size 10. It's nice, though. I won't get in it, though. I, I do like were rose myself. I've had a few were rose dresses. Only from charity shop, like. I wouldn't pay were rose prices. Absolutely ridiculous. This is only new look, but I bought it for the print. I really, really like this. It's a size 14. And let me see if I can get the print on there for you. I don't know if you can see that. It's like bright. It's very autumny, so, you know, we're coming into spring now. But for a pound, you know what I mean? Floral, sort of like very busy print dress. Um, swings out a bit at the bottom. So... What size is the cos dress? Um, yeah, so that, that new look one, I'm not sure. It's I don't know what new look really goes for. I, I know it's not dead, dead expensive. So the cos dress is a size, it says a size 36 here. So I'm not quite sure what size a 36 is. I think a 44 is a 16, so... But it doesn't look a small size to me, that. That looks to me like a size at least 14. At least a size 14. And she's still too small for me to at the moment, yeah. How are you doing, actually, Karen, with your uh, weight loss? Um, I'm doing okay. I've got uh, another couple of stone to lose, but I've lost just over a stone now. You look 15 to 20 plus post. Oh, right, that's quite good, actually. That's quite good. This, again, it's only next, but I just loved it. It's got pocketses, as Shel Staruni says, pocketses. Um, it's a black and white striped, a very long cardigan. It feels really nice, feels soft. I don't think there's anything in it. Um, it's a size 16, which is a good size. So if I can get a tenner for that, I'd be happy, but I'll probably be on for about 15-ish. You're down to a size 12. Oh, fantastic. 
Oh, you want to get down to a size 12. Oh, that is it. Oh, is it too small, too big for your South London sellers? I don't, I don't want to say too, too big or too small. Do I? Oh, the M&S, this one, but I liked it. It's like a, one of those stretchy black. You can't, you can't see again because my video is crap, but it's like a ribbed effect, like black stretchy long dress, just like a bit of a jumper dress. Uh, but it's really nice. I actually might keep that for myself because I do like, once I've uh, lost the belly, I do like quite like that with a, a pair of boots and um, black tights for in winter time. Uh, it's a size 12, this one, so, but it's stretchy, so. No, your size 12s now. Oh, that, I, I only want to get to a size 12. I'd be happy at a size 12. But I'm quite tall, so uh, I don't think I would look right as a size 8 or 10. The smallest I've ever been after having kids was a size 10, and I looked anorexic. I looked, uh, I didn't look well at all. I, th I thought I looked fantastic, but people said to me I looked gaunt and I didn't look very healthy at all. So, um, And then I just went the totally opposite way and just stuffed myself into oblivion and ended up being, uh, you know, a big fat monster. So... This, I've never picked this brand up before. Uh, did a little bit of a research in the shop, but I had 2% 2 on my phone. I was like, oh, come on, come on, come on. You know, and you're like, you know, trying to, trying to get it in before it ends. And it's called Sandro, I think it's called. It's, um, it's a French brand. It's absolutely vile. It's like, um, it's, you're going to kill me because I was on Sourcing Bam for jackets. It's a jacket. It's a jacket. You can't see it on there. But it's like a brown corduroy. Let me see if I can get it in the light at all. No. But can you see the, like, ribbed effect on it? Uh, I should get around about £40 for that. So, for a pound. I'm not going to leave it there for a pound. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Nearly one and a half stone down. I need another one and a half stone. Uh, you are quite a bit taller than me, Sam. Yeah, I'm about five, seven, five, eight. Um, so, yeah, I'd be quite happy at about size 12. I think that's where I'll be comfortable. Oh, thank you, Lex. You're gorgeous too. Hate it when the battery goes and you resell. So I, I'm an absolute nightmare for it. Honest to God, my battery on my iPhone is shocking. But I do a lot on it. I do a lot of scanning for Amazon on it and stuff like that. So it doesn't really last that long at all. It's sort of like, yeah, it's just, just yeah, two percent it add on it. And I thought, anyway, I managed to uh, to see that it was worth um, picking up. So this is a brand I. Very, very rarely pick up, uh, but I just really liked it. It's ASOS, and it is a size 14, and I just like love this collar detail, this lace collar detail. It's a very, very small polka dot. Again, it's a long dress, long sleeved, um, but I just really liked it, and I thought that that would be nice for work, 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 or something like that. So for a pound, it's got to be 15, 20 quid in that. Be happy with that. Do you want all my coats, Sam? No. No, I don't. Honestly. <laughs> I've got, oh, well, if you've watched my Instagram, I've shown how many how many coats I've got. I'm actually putting a 20% sale on all my, my big coats. So, um, but I'll still be well in profit. I mean, most of the jackets that I've got on there, I've got from this shop because they do tend to get a lot of good jackets in. So the maximum I paid for them are like two pounds. So you can't leave them there for that. Yeah, phone needs to go for a ripper. Yeah, I just need a new phone. Uh, I've dropped it that many times. It's just, it's just, when I'm talking to somebody, it just got, Sometimes it'll just go on to answer phone and then sometimes it'll start pressing all the buttons. I keep saying I've got like hamster cheeks. I keep pressing all the buttons with my cheek. It's just really gone dead, dead sensitive. So. Um, 
you'd wear that ASOS dress for work. Yeah, I thought sometimes I'll look at dresses and think, I, I I personally am not a dressy person. Even if I worked in an office, I wouldn't probably be dresser. It's just, this is me. Scruffy cardigan. Honest to God, you wouldn't think I was a clothing reseller because I look scruffy most of the time. I'm a, more of a comfort person. Um, the lady that does our Slimming World group, honest to God, she comes to the Slimming World group every week like she's going on a night out. She has a little tiny dress on it. I mean, I'm all for like showing your figure off when you've like dieted and lost all your weight. But she comes in a fitted dress every week and a pair of heels like that every week. Her done, makeup done, everything. That's it. I, I, she dresses up. The way she dresses up is more than what I would do if I was going on a night out, put it that way. I just, I'm just not dressed there. I'm more happy me with a nice pair of jeans on and a really like, gl uh, like a top, blouse, something like that. Just not into dress. I mean, I will wear a dress, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's lovely that, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Going up, getting sidetracked here. Um, this, I, uh, as soon as I felt it, I knew it was cashmere. This is John Lewis, cashmere, jumper. Um, it just says, a, I think, is that? No, it's a size 14. I thought it said medium at first. No, it's a size 14. And it's a short sleeved, um, oh, what do you call it? Is it like a mocha colour? Or oh, do they call it mole? Mole colour, like a brownie colour. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't even checked it. I haven't checked it for all, so I'll have to double check it. There wasn't anything uh, immediately noticeable. Um, but you can sell cashmere with holes in any way I've done before. It doesn't look like it's got any holes. Yeah, so a pound for that, that's got to be 30 quid. I always wear the same clothes. I don't, don't work on an office, so I dress for comfort. Yeah, I even wear, I, I don't even wear like, Boots with heels on our shoes, uh, flats for me all the way. Right, this is another okay ish brand. I've not, I did just do a quick um, look in the charity shop. It's uh, called, it's Malvin and it's a blazer. It's not a jacket, it's a blazer. Um, shh, don't tell Manda. You mustn't tell Manda. <laughs> Tell her that I've uh, been buying jackets. She'll go mad. Um, this is like a brown colour as well. So more like it's more like autumn stock. This so, but um, I don't mind for a pound. It's got all beading all the way around the neckline. Uh, it's it is ninety eight percent wool. I think it, it's certainly got a high content of wool in. Um, Seventy percent, so quite a high content of wool. Feels nice. About £20 for that. I'm a scruff bag normally, but I think I should make more of an effort. <laughs> like when people say what to do, yeah, I'm clothing reseller, like walking around like this with a big bag. Of I mean, this jumper, you can see, can you see all the bobbling on it? I've got a de bobbler, do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just a scruff bag, honest to God, just a scruff bag. I'm just not a dressy person. Occasionally, I may even wear a jumper. <laughs> oh, hiya, Mandy. Hiya, welcome. Death by glamour. It is Mandy, isn't it? Damn terrible. Hello, hello, hello. I hate photographing brown. Yeah, I don't know. I hate white and black are just a pain in the ass, aren't they, for uh, photographing? Um, this is a uh, white label by the White Company. This is super soft. I don't even know what's in this, to be honest with you. It's, it's got little parts. Well, they look like little parts, don't they, around the neck? Just a, a very light grey jumper. It does feel quite nice, actually. Let me have a look. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah, 100% merino wool. So oh, there you go. Um, white, uh, white stuff, not white stuff, white label. Quite an expensive brand. So we're making about 25 for that.
do you, Karen says, do you also get the reel it up and down look when say what you do? Or is it just me? I don't know. I don't know to be honest with you. And to be quite truthful, Karen, I really don't give a toss. I don't care. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't bother anymore. Most at reset at charity shops and stuff. And uh, people who know me know what I do anyway. So I don't really care. I don't really care what anybody thinks about me. I, I, you take me as you find me, you know what I mean? I'll still take me at all. So, um, Oh, my God, Luke's almost identical to French Connection jumper I listed last night. A lamb's wool one. Same colour and pattern. Oh, right, okay. What have you got it listed for? <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Um, I like French Connection. And uh, I sell quite a lot of French Connection. It's not dead fast at selling, but I do like selling French Connection. Most of it goes abroad for me. I don't tend to talk to folk now. <laughs> Come on, Karen. Uh, right, this is a little, this this is probably a nice item for um, spring and summer. This is a top shop. Um, we all know leopard print is very big, 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 and it's going to carry on being big. So it's only a size eight. But top shop, River Island and all that jazz, they're all like little teeny boppers. So it's a, it's a little crop little crop top I really really like that if I had a figure I would probably wear some that is what I would wear with a nice pair of jeans to win out in if if I had a nice figure and yeah I really like that I do like a bit of leopard print again the trouble with other people is that they are so people <laughs> people -y. what's people -y? Does Men's French Connection sell? I always ignore it in the shops. Mm, yeah, Men's is a bit, mm, no, I don't, I don't think I, I really pick French Connection up in Men's. Again, another white company. This is absolutely gold. I might keep this myself. It is like a waterfall. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm gutted because you can't see it. It's a waterfall cardigan. It's like a very dark grey. Um, and it's a size, it's a big size as well. That. It's a size 16, yeah. So it's really, really nice. Like shorter at the back, longer at the front. You get the, you get the idea, don't you? But that feels really nice as well. I bet that's wool as well. Let me just check. Uh, oh, no, it's cotton, cotton and wool. 80% cotton, 20% wool. Um, but I reckon that would have been quite expensive new. Not quite sure on that one. Might aim for about 40 on that. Be right back, going to get myself a decaf. I've not got that much left, to be honest with you, Lex. Um, I think I've got a couple of pieces. And, yeah, I've got one, one piece of clothing and three pairs of footwear. And that's it, me done. I'll soon find out, Andrew, uh, it's the first name I picked up. I pick it up because it's 80 Cent Lamb's Wool. I get an itchy rash list in it. I, you know, I don't know how people wear Lamb's Wool, mate. I really, really don't. God, you'd be itchy. I, I, I itch just thinking about it. A lot of people I speak to say they don't like wool as well, but it just see, it just it does sell, doesn't it? I'll have to wait a sec now. <laughs> Right, last piece of clothing is M and Co. Nothing spectacular, but I just like the way it wrapped over at the front, um, and I love the stripes on it. And again, it was a pound, and this looks like new. Doesn't look like it's been worn. Really, really good condition. Might have been worn once, I think. Um, you could just feel it. So probably, I don't know, fifteen to twenty on that. And quickly, I shall just do uh, boots. I got these, and I know it's not really boot coming into boot season, but when you're paying one ninety nine for them, and these are I can't even remember what brand they are now. These are Kaleidoscope, I think the leather. Uh, they've got like a sort of a midi heel, so they're not uh, too high. 
So those are, and they're a good size. I think they're a size 39, which is a six. So uh, they should do okay. And then these ones are M&S autographed. And these are six and a half. And again, these were, get it right way around, 199. Um, I don't think they'll sell dead, dead quick, but they're in good condition. Uh, so for, yeah, for 199, give them a whirl. And then the last item is a pair, just a pair of foot gloves again, but they were only 199. Foot gloves uh, tend to sell well for me. These moccasins tend to do well as well. Yeah, really good prices on all of it, really, to be honest. So that's why I bought so much. So this should keep me going for a couple of days, about 20-odd items here. Because they were, I think I think I paid twenty, nearly £24, £23 something. The shoes were £2 each, so that was £6 for the shoes. So I've got about 18 pieces of clothing. Yep. Yeah. So they were one ninety nine as well. So I should get about fifteen for those. So I'd be quite happy. So that's my haul. I just thought that's quite quick. I've done it quite quickly. So from twenty pound, twenty four pound, is it? God, there's got to be. I mean, the some of the jumpers there are like twenty thirty quid. So there's got to be some really really good profit in there. At least a couple of hundred pound profit. So yeah, I was really really pleased with all of that and uh, just got to get on and list it now. So, I always ignore foot glove, are they good? Um, it depends, Karen. The moccasin tight shoes always tend to do quite well for me and the flats tend to do quite well for me because uh, of all ladies like them, don't they? So, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I've always done all right with foot glove. As long as you can get them for like one, and like I got them for two quid, I probably wouldn't pay any more than about four pounds for foot glove. Um, but yeah, they can be quite expensive. They can be about 45 pounds, something like that in uh, in marks is some of the styles. So, have my sales picked up? No, no. T sales are absolutely so sporadic it's unbelievable yesterday and just let me double check but i shall tell you now uh yesterday if i can say i think today i've had one sale for 15 pound yesterday uh i think was a good day yeah did 200 pound you said no i didn't do 200 near 200 i think it was about 180 odd yesterday the day before that i did about 12 pound day before that was about 30 40 pound and then the day before that was a 300 pound day so it's really really um all over the place today i'm on a whopping 17 pounds only beating me on 15 <laughs> So there's a few hours you left to go yet. So on a on a good note though, Amazon is doing okay for me. I have a really good day. I'm having a really good month on Amazon at the moment, but cash flow is a problem at the moment because eBay's not fantastic with sales and Amazon takes a lot it, it, it eats your cash. It really, really does. So um yeah. How do how do you have how many do I have listed South West sellers, uh, South London reseller? Um, I've got between what's listed and active now and what's in my unsold uh, box, I've probably got up about 1,400 uh, listings. And yeah, so sales are should be more than what they are at the moment. So. I'm finding the same with sales. Two weeks ago, I went nine days without a sale. Oh, my God, that's a long time. I'm now only having a maximum of two sales a day. Some days still not. How many items have you got uh, listed, Manda? It really demotivates you. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, it's been a bit hard for me because I'm trying to get Amazon off the ground as well 
Um, I did have some savings, sort of like a, a security blanket. They've gone. They've absolutely gone because uh, I've had stuff going on. I needed a new front door. I've had to – my car needed repairing. So that just etted to the funds. And then I've been trying to get Amazon off – uh, off the ground and it's just um but i mean amazon is selling through now and it is um i'm getting payments from them now so hopefully fingers crossed it won't be too bad i don't know what that's about tesco's um no sales at all today for monumental need to get listing but one Steak first. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm doing Slimming World and I've just had a really crappy day today. You know, when you just start, I've just been hangry all day. And every driver on the road has absolutely cheesed me off today. Don't know what it is, but round my end, they've got roadworks on every single road. And to get home, 10 miles, well, no, five miles up the road, I took my son to his girlfriend's tonight. And they've got three lots of roadworks on different roads with traffic lights on as well as multiple traffic lights on the dual carriageway you have to contend with them traffic lights as well so i wasn't impressed so i've been hungry all day yeah it, it is a good amount it, i do need that though me south london reseller because I, uh, I i i do this full time and i am the only earner in the well i'm single parent so um and I rent my house, which is an extortionate amount of money. Probably not. If you're from London, it's probably not. It's probably quite cheap. But, um, yeah, so I, I I have a set amount of money that I have to make every month for my bills and uh, and that. So as long as I can make that and I've got food on the table, I'm quite happy. So you've got just over 400 um, well, I've got nearly, I've got, I've got about twelve hundred listing, and I've had twelve hundred listed, and I've had one sale today. So, and you know, it, it has been very sporadic, up and down. Have you had your day out with Becca? Um, it wasn't a day out, Sue. So she came down to my uh, office space to have a look. Um, I think uh, she's struggling at home. With the uh, amount of list, uh, with the amount of stock that she's got at the moment, I think she's looking into getting a unit. And I said to her, she'd come down and have a look at mine and see what you know, you know what the amount of listings that I've got and what space I've got, what she could actually fit in to a unit. Um, so she could, she just come down. She was only down about half an hour. She come down with a mum and uh, who watches my channel, by the way. So hello, Becca's mum, if you're watching. Um, yeah, she came down to have a loop round, brought uh, Tate with her uh, as a little character, a little, uh, little boy, so. Oh, you rent your house too, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I, I would really love to buy my own house because you know what, if I could buy my own house, I'd buy one with a bit of a garden at the back of the house and I would have the biggest, massive shed built for my eBay business. I would move it all from the unit back home because uh, it's great having the unit because it's not in the house. It's brilliant that way. But like when you get questions about stuff, you can't just go and get that item. Um, and then, yeah, and I've got to keep unlisted stock at home because if it goes up to the unit, that'll be it. You'll never see it again. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the unlisted stock stays here until it's listed and then goes up to the unit because if it – well, I draft it at home and take it up to the unit. I draft whatever I'm doing the following day at home and take it up to the unit in the morning. Then I photograph it and lay it away. And then when I come home at night, I put the photographs in and then they go live. But if I took everything up to the unit, just stuff wouldn't get done because it's, um, it's more of a storage thing than anything. Peter, Sam, 199 half price until Friday. I know, that's where I've been, Peter. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I've, I've already been Peter and cleared out. <laughs> um, but she did say to me, Peter, that uh, they get, they're getting a load of new stock on Friday. So um, it might be worth bobbing down Saturday um, or Sunday. 
it's not our price on a Sunday anymore, Peter. But yeah, get down there because uh, they probably have all the spring stock in. Yeah, she bought a mega haul too. So, yeah, yeah, she did. She's done really. Although it's, it's she says it stinks. Um, she's done really, really well with it. I've not actually personally seen it, uh, stuff, but she's she's done really well, I believe. Yeah, she's got a really good haul of Levi's and um, tweed jackets and stuff. Safe London sellers. I have 1,200 listed. I know what you mean about bills and such. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like, um, you've got to make so much, haven't you? So, I mean... <laughs> My mum, my mum texted me today because I've been out shopping for Amazon today. So she went out and she said, have you got some more stuff? And I went, yeah, yeah, I've got it. I said, but I'm skint now, so I can't buy any more. She says, oh, me and your dad will lend you money. You know what I mean? It's, you know, they're really, really good that way. So I've always got my mum and dad, which I, I, I'm so fortunate, you know, that they would they would help me out in a heartbeat. So how much do I have unlisted? Oh, Karen, I have quite a bit. Yeah quite a bit i've got at least one two three four and with this lot five ikea bags full of clothing uh unlisted but i like having that i like having it's a bit of a like andrew was saying before i don't know if anybody was was it on in the chat in a chat in a messenger chat somewhere it's a, a bit of a security blanket that because you know what happens if you you know you can't afford to go and buy more stock but you need money You've got that sort of like a bit of a scooter. So I quite like that anyway. Right, your ladies off for a coffee. I'm going now. I'm going to go and get a coffee too. Uh, my kettle's broke. So I'm boiling the pan at the moment. Um, yeah, my kettle was 45 quid. I've not had it a year. So I'm a bit, uh, a bit cheesed off. I'm going to give it my dad, see if he can fix it. It might just be a fuse or something, I don't know. But it's tripped all my electricity out. So so I'm boiling pan tonight for a brew. Just starting to list man now, not enough hours in the day. No. Peter Shaw, have a shed full, not listed. Ooh! glad i'm not the only one right thank you very much everybody for popping in if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up for me uh if you didn't give it a thumbs down um hopefully i will be doing sales updates soon i've not done one for ages so uh i might do one this week sometime i sam you need to enable super chat so we can buy you a kettle oh. Super chat? I don't even know what that is. Oh, is that where you donate money? Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. No. Right, I'm going. Go and get in the coffee. Have a lovely evening, guys, and I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye.